morning students so my dear students in the last class we have finished revi revision of the chapter 3 that is a disastrous dinner and after the that today we are proceeding towards starting the revision of chapter 4 which is named as the story of grace darling so now students at first let me read out the story for all of you grace darling was born on november 24 1815 She lived with her family on one of the farm islands in the Longstone Lighthouse. Her father was the lighthouse keeper and his job was to keep watch day and night for ships in trouble at sea. Grace didn't go to school but she kept busy all day with her studies and needlework. She helped her mother in keeping the house clean. and tidy and sometimes she would help her father to keep the lantern burning all the time she knew in darkness ships could easily hit the rocks but the warning light would help them to avoid danger grace darling had grown to be a strong brave girl in 1838 A steamer SS Forfarshire was traveling from Hull to Dundee. On the night of September 7, the ship was hit by a powerful storm. It was flung against the rock. Grace Darling and her father William heard the loud bang and woke with a start. They ran to the window. and saw the ship broken into the darkness of the night above the noise of the winds and waves they heard screams and wild cries the darlings peered into the darkness and saw people clinging to the rocks and masts they were screaming and waving to the lighthouse for help Grace saw the people in danger and told her father that they needed to take their own boat out and aid the drowning man. But Mr. Darling was reluctant as he feared for their own safety. He understood the implications of such a violent storm. and knew that their boat would be no match for the sea he explained to grace that they would have to wait until morning and then get help but grace watched the dreadful storm with a sad heart and couldn't bear standing aside doing nothing she pleaded with her father telling him that the man would soon grow too weak to cling to the rocks and would be swept away by the powerful waves her father was an old man and he knew the force of the mighty waves he could not endanger her life and was sure that they would never reach them but grace's determination triumphed after she convinced him that they should at least try and begged her fa- father not to refuse and finally he relented so students this much story will be enough for today now let me give you a short summary of the story that we have read today So, student, the story is about a small girl whose name was Grace Darling. She was born on twenty fourth November in eighteen fifteen. 
she used to live in farn island in the longstone lighthouse where her father was a keeper and his job was to look after the ships in travel at the night sorry at the sea grace didn't go to school but she used to spend her day by doing studies and some needle work sometimes she helped her mother in cleaning the house and sometimes she used to help her father to keep the lantern burning she knew that in darkness ships can easily swept away and could be in danger and in such a case this lantern will help them then slowly years passed by and grace darling grew up to be a strong and brave girl then one day in 1838 Essex for Fashire was traveling for Hull it was a ship which was traveling from Hull to Dundee and on September 7 it was hit by a powerful sea storm the ship flung against the rocks of the sea and Grace and her father they heard the sound and immediately they were up from their sleep they then ran to their window and saw that the ship was broken into two pieces they also heard the loud screams of the people grace darling saw through his window sorry through her window that the people were holding on to rocks and masts and she told her father that they need to take out their boat in order to help those drowning people but mr william was hesitating because he was fearing for their own safety he told her his daughter that they have to wait until the morning as their ship can't stand this violent storm but grace she couldn't see the people in danger without helping them she requested her father as she realized that soon these people will be swept away by the strong sea waves that's why grace she begged her father to help those poor people and at last she triumphed when her father finally agreed to her request so student this is the summary of the story that we have read today and uh, in tomorrow's class we shall see that did they able to ha- help those poor people did they able to save those drowning people yes or no if yes then how and if no then why not so student now let me give you the meaning of the important word that you have got in this half of the story so the first word is lighthouse which means a tower or structure containing a beacon light to warn or guide ships at night number b is flung which means move or push sharply or violently number c is bang which means a sudden loud number d implications it means a possible effect or result number e dreadful extremely bad or serious number f clinch which means hold on tightly to number g determination it means will power number h triumph which means victory or achievement and the last word is relented which means finally agreed to something after refusing 
so student these are the few difficult word meanings that you have got in this much story now student this is the end of our today's discussion in tomorrow we shall read the next half of the story so student this is the end thank you so much for watching the video with much patience